I'll show you how to get the Monster Soundstage speakers connected to your router using WPS. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome to Bleeding Edge TV. I'm Andrew Edwards. This is the show that brings you tech news and reviews through the AsGearLive.com. And in this episode, I show you how simple it is to get the Monster Soundstage speaker connected wirelessly to your router using WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup. In order to tell if your router can use WPS, just take a look at the back of the router and if you see a WPS button, you're good. WPS is the easiest way to get any device that supports it connected to your home network and the Monster Soundstage line supports it in each and every model. So let's get connected, here's how it works. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the Monster Soundstage app to your smartphone or tablet. They have it for iOS and they have it for Android. So head to the uh, Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and you can find the Monster Soundstage app there. Open it up and tap on the set up new speaker button. Now the app is gonna guide you through it. The first thing it's gonna tell you to do is plug the soundstage into the wall. Once it's plugged in, you're just gonna turn it on. Now the power button is on the top right of each soundstage speaker. So right here we have a soundstage S1 power button is right there on the top right over here on the s2 same thing power button there and on the s3 which is kind of out of the frame but on the top right there is a power button there as well hold that power button down on the s2 and the s3 there'll be a red light next to the power button so you know where to tap once you press the power button it's going to change from red to switching between red and blue boot up process could take up to a couple minutes and then once it's done you'll have a solid blue led on the top right hand side of the soundstage speaker. Now you're ready to activate WPS. All you have to do is go to your router and press the WPS button, then go to your soundstage speaker, remove the rubber backing, and press the WPS button on the soundstage speaker itself. Give it a couple minutes, and the soundstage speaker will be on your home network, and that's it, you're done. Now, if you don't have a WPS router, or if the WPS process didn't work for you, you can also get the soundstage speaker hooked up to your home network using the Soundstage app. And I'll be showing you that process in our next video. But for now, that was your look at getting the Soundstage speaker hooked up to your wireless network using WPS. Any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please do hit the like button on YouTube. And remember, you can subscribe to find out more about all our future videos as we publish them. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Andrew Webbers. This was Bleeding Edge TV. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of Thanks for watching.